Demler now in the back. Of course, this is a little bit further down the field, I believe, now having taken their mandatory pit stop. Three tenths behind uh, Sadat here into the S's. Uh, we've already seen a move here on the exit of the second S once. Will we see it again? Does not quite look like it. They might be looking for something out of the Dunlop curb and into Degna Hall. Yeah, I have to say the next good chance we're going to have is into the hairpin, but even that will be really tricky. We've already seen a couple of mistakes here at Digna 2 so far tonight. Looks like we'll get through it cleanly this time around. Not necessarily surprised. Uh, quite skilled races here. But uh, yeah, Demler, a uh, name that we've actually said a couple of times tonight against Sadat, who might have had a uh, bit of a difficult time. Uh, qualified quite low down, if memory serves, and had a, uh, an incident on lap one. Um, so, definitely not their race. Uh, but they are indeed trying to fight here from P20, trying to make a little bit of recovery. P20, of course, out of 29. Uh, I'm going to tune back in here with Gino just for a second to see their last lap time, a 2.0 to 1. They've got a little bit of clean air, so still on the charge is Mike Gino of Ghost Rider Racing's Mercenaries. Haha, <laughs> casual report for Ghost Rider. Uh, but, yeah, still strong pace from that. Yeah, but crucially, three tenths slower than Smith on the last lap. Well, they just updated, though, 202397. So the lap before was indeed slower. Uh, but uh, they're, 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 keeping, they're yeah. keeping pace, so to speak. And the, it doesn't look like the gap for Smith has come down to about five seconds here to Maxwell in B2, the 697 Ferrari. Uh, it's going to be the uh, story I'm looking after here as they do make a pass here, just out of the hairpin. Or just about make a pass. Demler's holding on a little bit there. I think Booster will have it there on the inside going into Spoon. Ooh, no. Maybe just about. Thinks better of it. Very good respect from both these racers. Looks like it's just going to be uh, about the exit of 130R. In these Porsches here, like we said, unstable vehicles. There's a lot that could change here in 130R. Boost will maybe try to, try to force a little bit of thought out of the opposition in front. Doesn't look like they've got that gap down. And they will stay behind here for the triangle chicane. Try to get that better run out. It looks like it might have to be next lap uh, or the next two to get that move done. Because that that is uh, quite happy with that uh, battle happening mm. a little bit behind the close. They surely do. Not quite contact there uh, between Booster and Demar. Of course, it was as soon as, as soon as I looked away over to my timing sheet to see what the time was just about. And oh my goodness, Booster! Yeah. I commend you for the bravery getting this close to the diffuser of the Porsche in front. Demler has got to be just shaking in their boots right about now. I don't know how in the world you keep your concentration in a situation like this. It's not easy. It's not easy. And Selena is desperate to get by Dilmer right now. Techno 1 and 2 coming up. Corners that have seen a lot of action so far this race. Oh. Doesn't look like they're going to make it through cleanly. But, ooh, Dilmer. Maybe losing a little bit of speed if Boostro wasn't immediately behind. Probably would have been able to get all the power just a little bit earlier into the hairpin here. This is where the action was not so, so long ago. Demler takes the narrow line to try to defend that one. They might lose out a little bit on the exit, but they just hold the line. There's just nowhere for Boonstra to try to get that switch back done. They can't go to the outside. Demler has got to cover it off. A quality defense all around. Yeah, well done by Demler. And it's so hard to overtake the same cars you're driving because it's strong and weak in the same places. So it's really hard to make something happen. Keep on board that fight again. Lorenzo coming on hacksaw further up the field. That's for P15. Flow fighting Barker for P12 at present. Yeah, let's go to that one. I have to say I'm a bit surprised to have seen uh, that pit out earlier on a driver in the top seven. But uh, I suppose you're going to have to do it sometime. You might as well just try to search for a gap on that track map if at all possible and uh, make it happen. And Booster, you just no opportunity to pass Demler. Yeah, and they're reeling in Sadat. So, I mean, they 
could become a three-way fight here in a second. The uh, not teammates, indeed. Demler representing Clean X Racing and uh, Zelina Boonstra for Comic Racing. Let's get this move done. We have seen one incident of a racer getting a little bit over eager to, to make a move. That, of course, was Austin White's car earlier oh, on. Oh, that's a good exit. Oh, she's on the grass. Oh, no. Oh. Holy cow. If, if, oh, my lord. If they didn't touch, you couldn't put a piece of paper between that. That was so close. That looked like contact to me, but there was nothing of it. And Templar continues to fight for this position. Sada in front is probably very much enjoying the fact that Demler has come under attack yeah. so frequently in the last couple of laps because it's given him uh, a little bit of breathing room before Boonstra it seems like inevitably is going to make this pass. But as we continue further and further into this race, I'm not so sure. Ooh, and White goes to that as well. That's going to compromise things a little bit. Further off the pack, looking here towards oh, so let's go back to that. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh! oh my God, Demler, no! Oh my goodness! Absolutely spins it out. Demler finally rejoins the track, but is going to lose a handful of positions. They're down three places now, and Boonstra has the tempo against Sadat with absolutely no slowdown as a result of the attack. Oh, you hate to see that Dimmler was putting up such a great defense and we missed it on the replay a little bit too early. That is the worst feeling as well. Oh, that Cockroft, that's so unfortunate. I was looking at a potential P17 finish if they could keep it clean through there and maybe take an opportunity here and again. But now sitting down in P21, that's not the result that you would want to see for them. Further back, it looked like Stefani might have gone off track. They returned to the pits shortly thereafter. Uh, so I'm uncertain what the story was there, uh, but it looks like our uh, our primary our primary following point is now evolved into a, a strange race between Demler and Sadat. These were not even races that were close uh, just a couple of moments ago, and now here they are fighting through T1. And you have to say, Demler back behind Sadat as they were not that long ago, but. Man, I think you'd rather see it without uh, having some contact with some crashes. Yeah, of course, the uh, gap about two and a half seconds between Sadat and Boonstra now in front. Uh, thankfully, Sadat only lost one position to that, but Wix, you know, up into 16th place now. A very solid spot. We only have two minutes and 18 seconds to go.